Magandang araw po sa lahat, uwi na po ito ng Splat Communications at Simplified Strategic Solutions. Ang video po natin ngayon ay update sa ginawang press briefing ni Pangulong BBM Kamakailan sa pagdalaw niya sa mga Kadawa Center sa Quezon City, kita at bakas sa mukha ni Pangulong BBM ang matinding pagod ngunit. Dahil sa sinumpaang tungkulin sa mga Pilipino ay patuloy pa rin sa paghanap ng solusyon sa iba't ibang kinakaharap na suliranin ng bansa, tunay ngang nasa mabuti tayong mga kamay. We have a question from Ms. Bea Kupin of Rappler. Hi. Hi, sir. Good morning, Mr. President. You mentioned earlier that Kadiwa will continue beyond Christmas. Ano po plano natin doon para sustainable siya both sa producer side at sa consumer side? No, uh, for us, what we are looking at, the, if, once it ha, it ca, get, we get to a point where it's no longer necessary, where the prices in the markets are the same as what we can give in the Kadiwa, then we don't need the Kadiwa anymore. Maybe just for distribution, para sa mga far-flung areas. Diyan na siguro papasok yung dating, uh, dating programa na may mobile na Kadiwa. So maybe we'll get, but we're not yet there at that point. Pinapakalat lang natin around the country right now. As it stands right now, uh, in terms of supply, uh, we're okay until, until uh, at the very least February, March of next year. Hopefully, by then, the prices of uh, commodities in the market will have normalized, is what I call it. Na medyo uh, hindi na masyadong papalit-palit. So uh, I think we're okay until then. That's the, our best uh, projection. Ms. Lef Narciso from DZRH. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. Sir, iniutos niyo daw po ang review ng Mutual Defense Treaty ng Pilipinas sa Estados Unidos. Uh, well, the Mutual Defense Treaty is uh, con continuously under negotiation and under evolution. I always call it an evolution because things are changing. Uh, the... Uh, a uh, request there, there have been many requests and proposals from the Americans, especially under EDCA. Uh, so we, all of that is under study now to see uh, what uh, what is really feasible and what will be the most useful for the defense of Philippine territory. Kasama po ito sa napag-usapan ninyo ni VP Harris. Ni? Ni VP Harris. Yes. Yes. Yes, we all we, we, we covered that and many more uh, subjects. But essentially, on the security. Uh, Yun, tinitignan natin yung uh, kanilang pinopropose yung mga ex joint exercises uh, uh, and EDCA, the use of our bases, all of this. We, we are in the middle of that. Palagay ko, by early next year, uh, we will have something more, more concrete to, te to tell you. Sir, Mr. Ian Cruz from GMA7. Good morning and congratulations, Mr. President. Good morning. Sir, uh, ang tanong ko po, yung sa West Philippines, si may partner na po ba tayo sa joint exploration ng oil? China po ba, America or Australia? Marami na tayo actually naging partner. Ang problema is, uh, yun problema kung bakit natigil ang negotiations. No, maalala ninyo, uh, nag-pronouncement nag si uh, Foreign Affairs Secretary, uh, si then Teddy Boy Luxin. At uh, sinabi niya natigil ang negotiations dahil of constitutional problems. Uh, ang talagang nangyari dyan is what? Kasi kineclaim ng China, kanila yun. Eh, atin naman talaga yan. So sinasabi namin, sinasabi ng Pilipinas, basta yung batas, kailangan masundan yung sa Pinas. Ang sinasabi naman ng Chinese, hindi. Amin yan eh. Kaya kailangan masundan is Chinese. So yun talaga ang... Yun ang roadblock doon. Mahirap, mahirap makita kung paano natin aayusin yun. I think there might be other ways para hindi going G2G or I, I don't know. We'll have to find a way. Uh, kasi kailangan na natin eh. We already need, uh, kung may mahanap dyan, kailangan na talaga ng Pilipinas. Yung China, hindi man, maliit na bagay sa kanila yun eh. Sa atin, malaking bagay yun. So, kailangan talaga natin ipagpat, ipaglaban uh, at ma mapakinabangan kung meron mang oil talaga. Sir Arvin Bartasar from Radio Pilipinas. <coughs> Mr. President, magandang uh, umaga po. Good uh, May we get an update to the appointment of uh, several officers in charge uh, in several, uh, assigned in several departments including DOH, DSWD, and Department of uh, National Defense. 
what is what the uh, update on update sa appointment po nila yung sa wala we we'll just go we we'll just go through the process uh, wala pa kaming DOH wala pa kaming uh, ininominate uh Yusek Ferreira is doing a fine job she let let's let her do kasi we we are still not out of the out of the pandemic so we have to we have to con continue to be careful uh sa sa DA uh, sa DND uh no i think i think well, i'm happy ako with the situation as it is now uh, we'll see uh, we, we always re these things are revisited especially um, every year at the end of the first year i don't think that's any that's a secret to anyone that at the end of the first year yung mga ibang kandidato they will now join the mix of possible nominees so let's uh, let's be patient basta na ako ang concern ko lang yung kailangan gawin na trabaho nagagawa so far naman nagagawa thank you sir thank, thank you, you mr president well, what can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. We have reached the end of today's video. In behalf of my partner Wina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.